What if I told you that Israel built a weapon straight out of a sci-fi movie, a laser that can blast missiles out of the sky in just four seconds? Sounds unreal, right? But this isn't fiction. While Israel and Gaza have been trading fire for decades, this new tech might just change the game. Israel and Gaza have been locked in a pretty rough fight. We're talking kidnappings, blockades, and over 10,000 missiles flying back and forth. And guess what? They're no closer to calling it quits. That means the fighting isn't likely to stop anytime soon. Then came April 13, 2024. Iran went all in, launching over 300 drones and missiles at Israel. Not to be outdone, Hezbollah fired a bunch of rockets at Israeli positions in the Golan Heights. Picture this, missiles raining down from all directions, but instead of panicking, Israel throws up a wall of high-tech defense. Just this past October, Iran launched a massive attack with everything it had. Ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones, and artillery backed by allies. They aimed right at Israel's military and intelligence centers. Over 200 missiles came hurtling in from Iran. Hezbollah controlled Lebanon, Syria, and even Houthi forces in Yemen. But Israel was ready. They launched their three interceptors, shooting down ballistic missiles while they were still in space. Then David's sling, which is kind of like the Israeli version of the American Patriot, took care of more threats. Even US warships and jets joined in, taking down some of the incoming missiles. And for anything that got closer, the famous Iron Dome was there, squatting away rockets, drones, and missiles like a pro. It looked like a near-perfect defense by design, of course. But even with all this tech, Israel's advanced multi-layered shield wasn't bulletproof. A few Iranian missiles reportedly slipped through, hitting air bases. Why? Because Iran and his allies played it smart, sending wave after wave to try to overwhelm Israel's defenses and drain their interceptor supply. It was a calculated move, and it shows that even the best defenses have their limits. The shield held strong this time, but Israeli strategists know that in the long run, it's all about the numbers. Just look at Israel and Ukraine. They're burning through interceptor missiles faster than factories can keep up. So what's Israel's answer to this dilemma? A defense system that never runs out of ammo. Meet the Iron Beam, a high-energy laser weapon that's got a pretty cool nickname, the Shield of Light. First introduced back in 2014 by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, the Iron Beam isn't here to replace the Iron Dome. It's more like its high-tech sidekick. This laser system packs a 100 kilowatt punch, zapping short-range threats from up to 10 kilometers away. And as long as it's plugged into a power source, it keeps going and going and going. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The Iron Beam has what every missile or gun dreams of an unlimited magazine. Traditional missile launchers and guns, no matter how powerful, eventually run out of bullets or missiles. And when that happens, they're about as useful as a catapult from the Middle Ages. But with the Iron Beam, it's always ready to fire as long as the power's on. That's what makes this laser system truly game-changing. Now the Iron Beam's unlimited ammo isn't actually endless. Parts can wear out and it needs a power source. But compared to regular missile systems that constantly need to be reloaded, this laser is a whole new ballgame. As long as it's plugged in, it can keep firing, making it way more reliable and efficient. This means Israel's other defense systems don't have to work as hard, which can save time and lives when every second counts. Money is a huge factor here too. Each Iron Dome missile costs between $40,000 and $50,000. That's a lot of cash to spend on shooting down a cheap $1,000 rocket from Hamas or a $30,000 drone from Iran. But the Iron Beam, it only costs about $2 per shot. It's like switching from throwing gold bars to pennies to protect yourself. And here's another cool thing, speed. The Iron Beam's laser moves at the speed of light, about 180,000 miles per second. No missile, drone, or plane can outrun it. If you're in its crosshairs, you're done. That's why it's almost always on target, making it super effective. What makes the Iron Beam even better is that it's really smart. It can find, follow, and zap threats all by itself. No human needed to press the button every time. That's why Israel is planning to place Iron Beams along its borders to keep enemies away. It means soldiers can focus on other things and feel a bit safer knowing they've got a laser keeping watch. And unlike heavy missiles that could crash down if something goes wrong, the laser only hits what it's aiming at, making it a safer option. The Iron Beam was tested successfully in 2022, and while it was supposed to be ready a few years later, the timeline got a boost. The US stepped in with $5 billion in military aid for Israel, with $1.2 billion of that specifically for the Iron Beam. It's a big gamble, but if it pays off, Israel will have a defense that's almost impossible to beat. And here's the kicker. If this tech works well in Israel, it might just be the answer for the US too. As threats around the world keep growing, having a laser defense system could be a game changer.
a laser weapon controlled by something as familiar as an Xbox controller, giving it the ability to cover the entire sky around it. That's how the Locust system works. While it's not as powerful as Israel's 100 kilowatt iron beam or the 50 kilowatt MSXRAD system, Locust packs a punch with its precise targeting, even though it only uses 20 kilowatts of power. A secret. Super smart eye controls. The eye in the Locust system is so precise that it can keep the laser focused on a spot the size of a quarter. That kind of accuracy means it can slice through tough materials like steel without breaking a sweat. And it doesn't just shoot blindly, it knows what it's aiming at. It can identify and target the weakest part of a drone like a rotor on a quadcopter to take it down fast. This kind of smart targeting means Locust can handle everything from small, speedy drones to those big, long-range attack drones that countries like Russia and Iran like to launch in swarms. In fact, Locust was the first laser system to ever shoot down a drone, proving just how effective it can be. And here's why lasers like Locust are a big deal. They have an almost endless supply of ammo. They can keep shooting down drones as fast as they show up with precision and the speed of light. That makes them the perfect last line of defense ready to take on anything that slips through the earlier defenses. China has stepped up to supply Iran with cutting-edge laser weapons designed to either dazzle drones or take them out completely when needed. Iran has been a major player in spreading unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, including those kamikaze drones which are used in various military operations. However, Iran faces many of the same threats, particularly from Israel, making this new laser technology even more important. This Chinese laser system is impressive. It can detect drones up to 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers away using its radar. The laser operates in the 10 to 20 kilo power range, which means it can deliver some serious energy. One of its key features is its ability to perform dazzling attacks. This can temporarily blind or confuse drones from nearly 2 miles, about 3 kilometers, away. But that's not all. The target gets within 1 mile or 1.5 kilometers. The laser can actually destroy it. According to the specifications, this laser can fire continuously for up to 200 seconds, just over 3 minutes, before needing a recharge. It takes less than 5 minutes to get ready for its next shot, whether it's recharging or cooling down after firing. This highlights some important pros and cons of laser-directed energy weapons. On the positive side, they offer a nearly unlimited supply of ammo since they can fire as long as there's power. However, they can only engage one target at a time and do require some downtime between shots to recharge or cool off. Now that we've seen that lasers can hold their own in combat, the military is eager to ramp up their use on a larger scale. Lasers could soon become as common on the battlefield as they are in sci-fi movies, but they will serve a much more crucial purpose protecting our nation's security. If you want to be part of the conversation on national security and stay updated on this exciting technology, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.